This lesson is about ascending and descending order of numbers. So let us start by differentiating ascending and descending. Ascending, or also known as increasing, it is arranging numbers from lowest to the highest. Descending, also known as decreasing, it is arranging numbers from the highest to the lowest. So let us have this as our example. From the given direction, arrange the following numbers in ascending and descending order. For number 1, the given numbers are 8, 5, 14, 20, 2, and 0. As you observe, the given numbers are whole numbers, and therefore, it is very easy to identify which is greater than the other. Now, if we are going to arrange this in ascending order, we will start from the lowest. So we have 0. Next is 2. Next is 5. Then we have 8. Then we have 14. And the last one will be 20. And that's it. Well, to arrange this in descending, we will start from the highest to the lowest. So we have 20. Then 14. Next, we have 8, then we have 5, next is we have 2, and the last one is 0. It's very easy, right? Now, let us have more examples. So, in here, again, if it's ascending, we'll start from the lowest, so we have 5. Next, we have 30. Then we have 73. Next will be 86. Then we have 97. And the last one will have 150. So as you observe, descending will be the vice versa of ascending. So we'll have here 150, 97, 86, 73, 30, and then 5. It's very easy, right? Now, how to use number line in arranging real numbers? So these are the things that you need to remember. If it's ascending or increasing, the pattern will be from left to right. And if it's descending or decreasing, the pattern will be from right to left. Say for example, for number 1, let us plot the following numbers on the given line. So we have 2. Then we have 0, 4, 1, and then 6. Again, if it's ascending, it is from left to right. And therefore, the value on the left side is 0. Next is 1, 2, 4 and 6. So we will write 1, 2, 4, and 6. Now, if it's descending, the pattern will be from right to left. This is because we will start from the highest. So we'll have 6, 6, 4, 2, 1, 0. So 6, 4, 2, 1, and then 0.
And that's it. Another. What are you going to do if there are negative numbers? Say we have negative 4, 5, 7, negative 1, 2, and then negative 6. So let's check again if this is correct. Negative 4, 5, 7, negative 1, 2, and then negative 6. Again, if it's ascending, the pattern will be from left to right. So we'll start with negative 6, negative 4, negative 1, 2, 5, and 7. And if that is in descending order, we will start from right to left. So you have 7, 5, 2, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 6. Now, what are you going to do if there are fractions? Okay, say we have 1 8, 5 8, 3 8, and 7 8. As you observe, they have the same denominators. And you should also notice that the numerator is less than the denominator, which means to say that this fraction is less than 1. Therefore, this fraction is between 0 and 1. So this will be 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 8, 5 8, 6 8, 7 8, and 8 8. And 8 8 is equivalent to 1. So from here, let us now plot 1 8, 5 8, 3 8, and 7 8. Again, to arrange this in ascending, we will start from left to right. So, you have 1 8, 3 8, 5 8, and then 7 8. Now, in descending, this will be from right to left. So, we will start with 7 8. Next is 5 8. Then, we have 3 8. And the last one will be 1 8. Now, what if the denominators are not the same? Well, in here, you are going to compare fractions using the butterfly method. So, let us compare first 2 thirds and 5 fourths. So, if we cross multiply, 2 times 4 is 8. And 5 times 3 is 15. And therefore, 5 fourths is greater than 2 thirds. Now, let us compare 5 fourths to 3 eighths. So, 5 times 8 is 40. And 4 times 3 is 12. From here, we can say that 5 fourths is greater than 2 thirds and 3 eighths. So, 5 fourths will be the biggest. Next one, let us compare 2 thirds and 3 eighths. So, we have here 2 thirds and 3 eighths. So, if we cross multiply using the butterfly method, 2 times 8 is 16. And 3 times 3 is 9. From here, we can see that 2 thirds is greater than 3 eighths. So, we'll have here 2 thirds. And then, the smallest one will be the 3 eighths. So again, the highest is 5 fourths and the lowest is the 3 eighths. So if we're going to arrange this in ascending, 
we will start from G8. Then we have two thirds. Then we have five fourths. And if we're about to arrange this in descending, we will start from five fourths. Then we have two thirds. And the last one we have three eighths. It's very easy, right? Next. Observe the given. Since we have negative 3 fourths in here, it is very clear that negative 3 fourths is the lowest. So, we will just compare 7 fifths and 6 fourths. So again, if we cross multiply, 7 times 4, we have 28. And 5 times 6, we have 30. So from here, 6 fourths is greater than 7 fifths. So we can write 6 fourths as the greatest value, 7 fifths as the next one, and negative 3 fourths as the lowest because it is negative. So if we're about to arrange this in ascending, we will start from the lowest value, which is the negative number, negative 3 fourths. Then we have 7 fifths and 6 fourths. We are about to arrange this in descending. We will start from 6 fourths. Then we have 7 fifths. And the last one is negative 3 fourths. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.